As of June 18, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 8,242,999 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 445,535 deaths. Within the region of the Americas, there was a total of 4,015,386 cases. Testing results received on June 18, 2020 indicated 35 negative test results. A total of 1,484 tests have been carried out to date and the recorded number of confirmed cases remain at 19. 18 of those cases have fully recovered. The last positive case was recorded on June 4, 2020, making today the 15th consecutive day that all tests conducted have returned as negative. As we continue to live in this COVID-19 environment and adapt to the new normal, we remind the public on measures to remain and to maintain their mental health and to stay healthy. Keeping healthy is extremely important during this time and will ensure a strong immune system to increase your chances of preventing and fighting the disease. These measures include eating a healthy balanced diet including fruits and vegetables daily, regular intake of water instead of sugary drinks and beverages, regular exercise, Persons with chronic diseases must ensure that they remain compliant on their medication, avoid alcohol abuse, avoid smoking as it leads to lung damage and further exacerbates respiratory illness, avoid stress and develop stress management habits. Visit or call your healthcare provider if you have any health concerns. The mental health impact of COVID-19 has been well documented. It ranges from anxiety, depression, to suicidal ideation. All age groups are affected as life changes have been drastic in many cases. The new reality of working from home, less social contact with family and friends, homeschooling for children, and being unemployed is actually diff a difficult time for most persons. Persons are encouraged to seek help at the National Mental Wellness Center the 201 helpline or from trusted family members and friends if needed. We advise that parents monitor and manage children who may be trying to cope as well. Also, persons should try to provide support to family and friends who may not be managing well to the COVID-19 environment. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing you with regular updates on COVID-19.